Hello Billy, back at it again with another video. Welcome to Alpha Clock. Woo. Um, so guys, I'm just gonna make a quick eBay tutorial video on out for Alpha Clock, just a random video. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to search on eBay, how to sell on eBay, and um, how to bid on eBay. The best ways to do all this stuff. So let's just get right into it. And I'm pretty excited for this video, honestly, because I always do a eBay, as you guys might know, and I sell on eBay, I buy on eBay, and I do a whole bunch of stuff. So let's get started okay so the first thing we're gonna do is just test um we're going to type in um just video games obviously because like this channel is obviously around video games and computer stuff sometimes but I'm just gonna do video games as the most brand thing because I know how to search up and everything so I'm just gonna so the first tip for um, searching on eBay is don't if you're just looking if you're looking for one thing obviously just put in that one thing but you don't want to be so like specific about it you just want to be like video games right okay say you're looking for MX versus ATV right so you don't want to like be super like you don't want to be super specific about it say you want it on PS4 you would just put in MX versus ATV on PS4 obviously and you would get a whole bunch of searches right so, because I'm trying to think of a good example, if you type in, like, for example, NES or Nintendo Entertainment System, you should look up both, because some people might just put, or even Nintendo, some people put maybe Nintendo console because they're not really sure what the thing is, so if you just put in Nintendo, you might find something that other people won't really find, honestly, because, you know, like I said, people just put in random titles, but it usually doesn't happen. But sometimes, like, I found an Atari 2600, the title was whack, and honestly, not many people were finding it, because, like, the title was really weird, so, and it was, like, a really good deal, I think it was newly listed, it was, like, Atari 2600 for, like, like, 20 or 30 dollars, which was really weird, and you could tell, like, there was no caps in the title, so, you know, you could, you could tell it was newly listed, and you could tell it was some person that just didn't care about it, so, um, let's, Let's say, for example, I do want MX versus ATV on um, on this thing. So what you would do, my first thing is, okay, so say like, oh, how much does this game sell for? So you're like, hmm, I, I don't know how much this game costs on eBay and sells on eBay. So you're looking around like sponsored $27, like $30, and like, you know, there's some really weird ones because this game's probably super, super common. So what you want to do is go to advance, and there's a whole bunch of a settings on this title and description, complete listings, and I always click on sold listings and then I go to search. So if you do this, you can see bids, but now he has another tip, is if you go up to the top here, I know you guys can't see this because of my webcam a little bit, but you guys don't really need to see it. There's all listings on the left where my webcam is blocking. There's auction and then buy now. If you go to buy it now, it takes you to the all buy it now sections. And as you can see, people, Pay attention to shipping. Make sure the shipping cost isn't terrible either. So you guys just want to see if it's obviously green, then it means they bought it and the game got shipped. If it's red, it just means the listing got completed, but the game didn't ship and the buyer didn't pay the guy um, his money. So obviously you can see this game got sold for $35. It looks like it's new, new other. Um, another game got sold for $46. Um, another one 27 or 28 dollars and when you're looking at a listing to buy something you always want to make sure it's good condition like this guy actually posted pictures of the game on this like for you know this is only a game but when I put stuff on eBay I put the disc I put the back of it the front of it for a cartridge I put the pins of it and I put literally everything on it so you guys want to do all that just to make sure the game's in good good condition and stuff like that so as we go down, we're finding more and more and like I hate these fake pictures like this one, like brand new fifty dollars. But honestly, like is it really brand new? Like there's pictures of the gameplay and stuff, but this is just a stock photo. So with anything, any game or any console, I know this isn't really a good example for this game, especially for a console, NES console, just a picture of it. Like I might go and try to find that. If I type in, I'm gonna type in Nintendo 64 console. And I'm going to do buy it now. Or whoops. Nintendo console. Nintendo 64 console. I just did N64 because it's easier. So if you gotta buy uh, I'm not gonna I'm gonna go back to advance and unclick soul listings. So sometimes it's hard to find something like a pit or stock photo of something, but you know it, it's it's there, you know it's there. So sometimes it would be like 
a stock N64 picture on, off of Google and it would be like $40 with this and with this. Well, you don't know because, like, there's no picture. I know a lot of these seem legit, but... Okay, like this, like this one. I know this isn't, this isn't a good, ex again, this, it's just really hard, but this is definitely, um, that looks legit. It's really, I get. I guess, I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm saying. I am sure what I'm saying, but I guess I haven't seen one of those in a while because I know you definitely see stock pictures of something and people are selling like a game or two. I know it definitely happens with games, but like, you know, still like it just depends on what the item is. So guys, make sure the picture's legit. Make sure you always check for shipping and make sure the price is always good so you won't overpay. So another thing is I'm going to do, if you, if you see on this left here, you can do a whole bunch of things, region codes and AV outputs, brand new game, guaranteed delivery service. You can do the prices, buy now auction like we did before, and you can search if it's close or not, what kind of delivery options, free shipping, and then the returns or something like that. So if we type in, let's look up another game. I'm gonna try to think of a game, like an old game, like NES Mega Man 5 or something. <coughs> So Mega Man 5 is like around like 90 to 100 dollars and um, so I'm going to hit buy now because I always do that and here's another sort thing I got to tell you guys later. I hope yeah you guys can probably see this pretty good. So I'm going to go down and be like hmm I'm going to search up a price between like 85 and 90 dollars. So it's going to get rid of all the junk shit that you don't want to pay or that you don't want to see or don't want to pay like all these Mega Man games for 250 dollars. Like, you don't want to see this. All you want to get, get is Mega Man 5. So you search the good amount of price for it, and you look for a good one. So you could be, like, in U.S. only. And say so you could be, like, free shipping. You can do so many options that, honestly, you can catch people slipping on eBay. Honestly, I know it sounds weird, but there's some settings or some listings that don't really get seen by people. So if you do this, like, lots of settings, sometimes you can get a low-key or low key deal, and some people... You know like for real and then you could be like returns accepted because just to make sure if you buy something then it's gonna be like shady and then like let's see I I did all this stuff I did all the search 80 between or wait didn't I do that no I didn't so let's do 85 and 90 again maybe you can't do all the search things at once but I'm not really sure but let's just do 85 and 90 dollars so here's one 90 bucks free shipping free returns all, I like how it says five new and furbished from eight hundred and seventy four dollars. That's hilarious. And then you can see pre pre owned new listing. Like it, he's top rated plus. That's a, another thing. If you guys can buy off a top rated plus person, which means they sell a lot on eBay, have good reviews, then do it. Go ahead. Again, these stock photos, uh, I wouldn't trust them. So I only see like one or two if I take this out between 85 and 90 dollars so but I already found one be between 85 and 90 dollars so like there's my lowest price 90 bucks so and buy now and all my searches like US returns accepted and all this stuff so now like this one is really like trust it if you wanted to buy Mega Man 5 whoever the next person wants to buy this game for like retail price would buy this one because it's the most trusted the cheapest free returns and you can't get like fucked up honestly on over this guy this guy is not gonna like be shady on you so let me think about let's move on to the next um, part of the video okay so we're gonna be more uh, brand about it I'm not gonna look for one thing I want to look for video games on eBay and see like if I can find any uh, crazy stuff so over here like I was telling before you can go over here and sort and you can do a whole bunch of stuff like price uh, lowest first this is kind of weird because you get like if I do lowest first oh wait no never mind let's go to uh, fresh eBay so if you go to eBay and then you type in video games so you go to video games and then you go down so all my search is off and you get I'm still gonna go to buy now just to make it easy honestly or no let's do let's see all these things for now so cause like I said I'm just you know looking around so and then if you go over here to sort you can do ending soon is newly listed I'm gonna go to lowest price so obviously you can see the lowest price like like this like 
like, I don't know, like the bid's one cent, obviously, but if we go to buy now, it's still gonna be like weird low things, like th like cases and stuff like this. And even if you like, obviously, you don't want to do the highest prices, but this I can keep going and going for days and days, and you're gonna see dumb stuff for video games because video games is very, very brand or broad. It's like a broad thing, so you're not gonna see like this. But if you go to like highest price, you're still not like like what is that like? A billion dollars or I don't even fucking know like I don't care honestly like why brand new wow like or best offer like what do you want the best offer for this and you can just get we I type in video games but I just get weird things like like why would you even list this on eBay honestly like wow seventy five thousand dollars like an eight hundred dollar shipping there it is like I don't I really don't get it it's just it's weird so either the, obviously the highest price or the lowest price won't work for this very broad topic so what I'm just gonna do obviously that's why you click best match or newly listed but say you don't want to do the best match you want to like look newly listed because on this there is a lot of freaking uh, things here so I don't know I'm pretty sure somebody does this is they sit here on newly listed and they just refresh the page and you know they keep refreshing the page I kind of I do this on crazes so they keep refreshing the page until somebody lists a really good deal and if you can buy it in like I don't know how many people are looking for video games at once but if you can buy it in like that good those couple of seconds of other people looking for something then congratulations I guess but I honestly don't see a point in doing that because it's just it's pointless. I know I do that on Craigslist because, you know, Craigslist isn't like an eBay thing, but you know. So, as we're going down, you get a whole bunch. I typed in video games, so you get a whole bunch of junk and a whole bunch of weird stuff. So, like, you're just like looking. It's a good, it's interesting to look just in case if you do find something you like and you want to pay for, like, actually something. But just, it's, it's weird. It's just super weird. And a co another cool thing is, I'm going to go up in a second, I just want to look at a couple things. Like, you get a whole bunch of video game stuff, like, literally a whole bunch. Like it just goes on forever. So, if you guys go all the way to the top of the page, you're going to be, like, ending soonest. And before I, like, do anything, you're going to see over here how many seconds are left, and from where, and stuff like that. So, it's on buy now. And, and right here, you guys going to think, like, yeah, it's junk. All the stuff is already bought already. The stuff for lowest prices, the good stuff, or the good stuff, the good stuff for lowest prices, and just the stuff that you want is like not gonna be here because this is the stuff that it just this listing just ended. So this stuff is literally just crappy and nobody wants it. Like all this stuff ended already. So if I refresh the page, you see, you're gonna see more ending probably in a couple seconds, like a PlayStation Three. Um, freaking slim console, $125 plus $20 shipping. That's not a very good price. And that's a really weird title anyways. So, yeah. As you see here, um, $55 for this Digimon game seal. Okay, well, that's not, that's a bad example. But I'm trying to look for something just really bad. Like, there's a lot of, like, a lot of stuff that just, like, $9 or 10 for Disney Infinity. Like, Nobody wants this random stuff, honestly, like, this only, like, it's just strange stuff, like, nobody's really searching for this stuff at the moment, at least. Okay, like, official Microsoft x one power supply, $150. What? Like, like, 55 sold, what? Like, what do you do? What? I, that doesn't make sense. And, you know, just, it's, it's weird, but... Usually this is where the bad price things are and the, see like one minute left. This is like where the bad things are and the, you know, it's weird. But like, you know, it's fun just seeing how much junk is flowing through eBay. Cause you know, when I used to be in school, I used to just sit here and like look through all the things. It's like, I don't know. You're not really going to find anything good cause everything's bought up, but you can just see all the junk flowing through eBay and see the next thing that's being expired. I just hate shipping prices sometimes like obviously you can do no shipping but that's like really crazy like 
some deals are like oh really cheap but the shipping is like out of this it's insane it's like really insane okay so let's move on to the next part of the video where it's probably gonna be something else. I'm gonna tell you how to bid things on eBay so I'm going to think of a thing let me think let me think I guess I'm just gonna type in uh, NES console and see what comes up just to be simple about it or like a PS2 yeah, let's do wait NES like bundle or SNES bundle or something. So let's do a SNES bundle, and obviously you guys want to have your account and all that stuff. You want to put in your credit card, I would for say, in your PayPal account just to make everything easy on eBay, so you can buy these people like instantly, and they can ship your stuff to your house. So honestly, having like your PayPal account through this, you know, that in includes a credit card or debit card. It's just so much easier to have a PayPal account through eBay because some most people only take PayPal, which is annoying. Okay, so we're going to do auction only, and we're going to see right here. Ten minutes left, ending soon. It's like I did this. Uh, Super Nintendo, SNES console, um, 24 games bundle. And bidding is really weird, honestly. With eBay, bidding isn't like a like a normal like bidding thing place. If you go to a bidding place. It wouldn't be like that. Bidding is really weird on this. So usually, most of the time, the price just goes way high. People go, just, they don't care how much it is. They just go super expensive. But sometimes people are actually legit. So, if you want to place a bid, which I'm not going to do on this because this is, I can't even see the games that good. So, $18, $20 shipping, first of all. You just want to make sure it takes, like, you just want to make sure it's good. So if we go up here and you place bid, which I'm not going to do because that's stupid. So by placing a bid, you're committing to buy this in item if you win. But, you know, some people don't do that. So that's nine minutes. And you can place your bid. So maybe what sometimes what happens is some guy has a max bid of like 80 bucks. Probably not now because it's really, really high. But if, um, wait, well, what is this question mark? Okay, yeah, so say, like, the bid is really, really high, or it's really low, it just started out, and you put in a max bid, like, this is the max price I'll pay for this, and it goes, like, like, say you put, I don't know, say it's a $100 item and you put $50 in, it's most likely gonna get beaten by somebody else, because somebody else wants it, then, like, with me, I can't eBay bid, honestly, because I just get too mad, and then I bid, no matter, I just keep going and keep going I don't care how much the item is I would just keep going because I just want to beat the other person just like the one vinyl I bought I just kept going and kept going and it was like it wasn't way over but it was over like the retail price and I could have got it somewhere else cheaper but anyways um let me go back to my point like I said so say you put a max bid so say somebody else put a max bid of $80 on here if I bid US $73 it's gonna say okay you bid but somebody else just outbid you because the guy's max bid was 80 bucks or whatever so say you just want to keep going and you keep going 74 75 76 until you get hit 81 and then you're winning that last bid and maybe the guy comes on and like boom like he he hits you up so what happens is this is where the bidding gets the most important obviously bidding is easy you just get back and forth but there's a max bid you can set, which is weird because you can't see that guy's max bid. So you, you like it could be really cheap, but then you just go it just goes way high instantly because you're like, wow, I thought it was like seventy dollars, but maybe the guy bid like eighty dollars. So it's not actually you can't get this thing item for seventy three dollars. Say for example that. Then say here comes the last minute, right? And you're like, okay, I want this no matter. I don't care how much this is. So what people do is they eBay snipe, and this is, you can avoid eBay sniping pretty easily, honestly, and people, but this is what happens to people, and I did this the other day to some guy, and got, I got the G27 Logitech wheel, which is, should be coming soon, but this is, I eBay sniped this other dude, so what happened the other day is uh, I was paying for this thing, and I was bidding on it, and I'm like, okay, so it went way up, like I said, it was like, like, it, it just went way up, so I kept bidding, because I was like, I don't care, it's like really low price right now, but then it got really, really kind of high, but I still got it, 
I didn't get that high, but or it was a really good deal for the wheel. So the guy, somebody bit on it 20 minutes before it ended, and I'm like, okay, bet. Like, I'm pissed off. Like, I want this thing no matter how much it gets. So the guy bids, like, whatever the price was with 20 minutes left. And then when it came to one minute left, I was like, bet. So I clicked the next number. So for example, right here, it would be like $73. So I did that. I did the next dollar up. And it's like, oh, okay, you're winning. So I'm like, fuck yeah. The guy didn't like put his max bid like way high. So I did that with one minute left. And with 30, this is like eBay sniping. With 20 or 30 seconds left, I put the freaking uh, eBay, my max bid way, like way high. Like I don't even care how much it is because I know... If that next person puts two dollars or three dollars up above mine, I'm gonna win no matter what. I'm gonna beat that three or four dollars of what that guy put. So I'm gonna win the bid because that guy only did three dollars, but I did say fifty dollars more. But when I bid on that, that's only my max bid. That's not the bid I'm gonna be paying for it. I'm gonna be, you know, I'm gonna be saving all that money and I'm gonna guaranteed win. So the last like 30 seconds, I put my bid way up to freaking like $50. I didn't care. Cause obviously like it's not gonna go in unless the guy goes over like 50 bucks. So I eventually ended up winning. And when I won, I went to the uh, uh, sheets and the sheets where you can see how to bid or um, what's it called? You can see who bid it on it one time, what times and stuff like that and obviously they don't show the names because people would fight like all the time over this so as I bid on the last second it showed me that nobody tried to eBay snipe me so I just eBay sniped um, like myself I was making sure I had this thing but the guy 20 minutes before so like 20 minutes before and then here comes me and down here 20 minutes later just me only me and that's it. Nobody tried to eBay snipe me. Nobody cared to like, oh, school is. So I was the person to get it. And, you know, like I said, somebody could have came in with five seconds left. And if I didn't, if I wasn't smart enough, they could have put like one dollar up and then they would have won the thing and I would have lost everything. So that's why and it happened to me once and I learned my lesson. And that's what I, I would so do that, honestly, like, because... You can win any single eBay bid you want. Say it's a good deal, you just put your max bid way up at the end and eBay snipe people and it's awesome. It's legal, but it's a dick move. But eBay, like, you know, people do it all the time, probably. Like, I never really seen it, but people do it all the time, honestly. So, let's go back here. And SNES bundle. Let's refresh the page. So it's bidding is very weird in eBay, like I said, because you can just be a dick about it and bid last second and win. Like say you want an item and it's a good price, boom, last second, eBay sniped. And that happened to Ian too, he got sniped too. And I was like, yeah, if he, he didn't know that trick that you could do. So, and I was like, hmm, I'm not getting sniped today. I swear to God, I'd be so mad if I didn't win that wheel, but I won it, I was so happy. Okay, so let's move on. Like, there's a whole bunch of, I don't know, a whole bunch of bids and stuff. Two days left. And obviously, you don't want to bid on the, one last tip. You do not want to bid, like, say, like, say this SNES bundle has, like, all, like, really good games. So it's $100, right? So say the value price is, like, $300. You don't want to get in a bidding war when there's two days left. Because the price is just going to go way, like, high. So people wait until like the last like you know hour or 30 minutes to like get that bid way like way high. So it's really weird. Like cuz I bet like say it's like oh this is such a good deal like the SNES inbox thing. Like this is only $111 which isn't bad honestly. So it has 3 days left cuz it's newly listed. In 3 days I guarantee you it's not going to be near $100 at all. It's going to be like maybe 200 or something. It's like, oh, like, such a good deal, but guess what? It's a bid, and I hate that. That's why I put buy now, because, like, oh, such a good deal, but it's a bid. Oh, too bad. So, that's pretty, this is a terrible deal. deal. SNES, console, $50, like, zero bids. Like, really? That's freaking stupid. Okay, so, guys, one last thing I'm going to show you is how to sell on eBay. And, uh, I hopefully, I hope you guys are enjoying this, because, you know, I'm 
enjoying it pretty much. So we got five minutes, twenty five minutes around that. So I'm just gonna um kind of speed through this. It's kind of like a actual episode. It's like thirty minutes long. So one last thing I'm going to show. Hmm. Let's see how we should do this. So I'm going to click sell an item. And I'm going to sign in. Okay, so what do you want to sell, right? So I want to sell like a game. So let's see that GTA San Andreas on PS2. So I'm going to type in a good uh, title, San Andreas, and then I'm going to be like PS2, good title. So you're going to type in the game, and then you're going to, um, it's going to give you this thing. And this is where the stock pictures come in, honestly. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it's going to be like, oh, he has this picture, but I think you can use like these stock pictures. So say I want to sell this game. It's going to be like sell one like this, right? But I don't want to do this because it's just I want to do my own. So you go, can't find one like yours? Yeah, I can't. So you're just going to be like, okay, create a new listing, and you're going to be like brand new, which is sealed, packaged, like new, which is probably perfect condition, very good, good, and acceptable. I usually do very good or like new if it's like really freaking good. So I'm going to be like very good. And okay, so this is the point to sell pictures. So honestly, if you have your iPod, did I just sell, did I just say iPod? If you have your phone, I use my iPod for this, but if you have your phone, you can take pictures of the item and use the eBay app and put the pictures directly in the eBay. So you don't have to take the pictures, put it on your computer, then do that. So it's really annoying. So say, uh, I'm not going to put pictures on it. So I'm just going to run you through this and I'm obviously I'm not going to post it because I'm not selling one. So you're going to have a good title, you know, medium length. You can have a really good title. You can have up to 12 pictures without them paying or costing or feeing you which I don't know why you want to have 12 photos honestly of a game and then you come down here and you select all your details these are completely pointless I'm gonna act like it's something like this so if, if it was description I usually just do like tested like tested and works and good this condition like say that so, dude, that's all you need. If you have a picture of the front, back, inside, and the back of the disc, then they're going to see everything, like every single little detail. So what I do is I don't do a auction price. I just do it buy now. So I put $8, right? And then I come down here. And this is where it gets uh, kind of difficult. So like no auction, buy now price, say 8 bucks. So this is where it kind of gets difficult. The shipping. The shipping is like obviously the hardest part of selling something on eBay because people get freaked out and like I just want to tell people like dude like it is so easy to sell on eBay it's literally so easy like all you need is a PayPal account I know it's weird getting a PayPal account it's just like weird so you need a PayPal account and like that's pretty much it right and then you have an eBay account like who doesn't so <laughs> eBay is really really good at determining the weight of your package so if I weighed that game in this pat in like a uh, you want to go to Walmart and buy these padded uh, ship thing label packages which I used to just buy them at the post office which was a terrible idea because it was like freaking like four or five like it was like four or five dollars total for the shipping and everything but if you just go to Walmart you can buy like 12 of them for like five dollars like literally like I can't believe I didn't do that before but like I said, I bought a scale to weigh my packages for my like big packages because I sell so much stuff on eBay and I don't want I want to get it correct and I want to save the most money possible. But you could just like it tells you zero pounds, four ounces. I guarantee if I put that game in the padded envelope, put it on my scale, it's going to be closed because in the post office does not care. Honestly, like if it's near like if it's not if it's near the um things then it's gonna be good so you usually use usps first class package because our first class package is up to like a certain uh like diameter and a certain weight so if you have a small box and if you're not like shipping anything crazy i would suggest that because it's the cheapest and it's the most like like there's the priority mail and all this like junk stuff 
like like I don't know why you would want to do this honest like FedEx is so expensive one day service isn't like 30 33 dollars like that's insane that's insane dude so USPS first class package is the most typical that everyone probably uses and it's eBay suggests this the most unless you have to get a package faster so like it's cheaper than I don't know what USP, USPS retail ground is but like it's more money than their first class package thing and the like I just don't understand so this is like this is where it's at this is the most main thing you can track your packages and as long as it doesn't weigh, I, feel, I don't know what the weight is, and I don't know what the, the diameter is like, you know, like, just a normal box, honestly, like, it's not terrible, so that's what you should pick, so once you have, when I started out on eBay, I was, like, kind of nervous, I was like, eh, I don't know how to, like, ship on eBay, and you gotta write, like, your return address and the shipping address, but it was like, eh, so, you know, you weigh, or your package dimensions, uh, you do that, you weigh it, I weigh it on my scale, and then eBay gives me a discount of how much I can save and stuff like that. And then buyer pays the shipping, depending on their location. Charge a fixed amount, which I do sometimes because, I don't know, it's just easier that way. Or offer free shipping and you pay it, which you can have a higher price for the item and it'll be free shipping. But that's kind of weird sometimes. And international service, you don't want to do this, right? and local pickup for like big cars or big things or something like that if you want to so that's pretty much it and then you click list it if I do a preview this is my preview of it if I add a picture it'll be here very good seller information um, like um, buy now add the car make offer so there's not all this stuff you know it's all simple stuff and the description and stuff like that so it's like really extremely easy I literally just did this in like five seconds and I sell multiple multiple things on eBay like I sell a lot of things on eBay like I saw in the summer I sell like four or five things a week and I have to take a picture of it put it on eBay and it can sell and then I just packages up package it up and just go to the post office drop it off boom it's that easy it's literally and then when somebody buys your item you go on eBay and says ship now. You click that ship now, and then you get it. Um, you buy the postage on eBay, which is insane. Like I did that for. Um, I used to not do that because I'm like, it was, like it, it was confusing to me. Like I don't want to mess it up, you know. So I just went on this eBay, printed my own like shipping label, and it was literally like the easiest thing. You print it, you tape it, and then you just send it off. And I literally walk in the post office, drop it, literally just throw it that, throw it at them, and it's all good to go. Like it's honestly like the most amazing thing ever. So guys, hopefully you, hopefully I told you a lot of useful information on eBay. I'm glad I made this video because I this is my main thing. Honestly, eBay I make a lot of money on eBay, and this is like my main thing. So guys, I hope you got a tip about selling on eBay and searching and how to look for things on eBay because you know pretty late so guys hopefully you enjoyed your video and hope and hopefully you guys stay by alpha clock because it's lit build in out hey guys hope you really like that video and if you did please like comment share and subscribe you should also check out our twitter facebook and tumblr see you again, again soon, soon.